Hi, I'm Edie Falco on behalf of Last Chance for Animals. New York City was built on the promise of freedom and progress, but looming over this city is a dark cloud of shame. New York's archaic carriage industry enslaves horses to live every single day in misery, monotony, and pain. LCA's investigation of the carriage industry reveals horses working in heavy traffic and harsh weather conditions. They're inhaling exhaust fumes day in and day out. Their ears are under constant assault by loud city noises. LCA's footage shows clear disregard for horse welfare. This driver taunts the horse with his cigarette. But he's a little shit. Like he'll get to the point where I'll ask him to walk, you know, to step up and walk on, and he'll get like no, and he'll start to jack my car. And I gotta hit the brake and whip the shit out of him. LCA caught carriage drivers blatantly violating traffic laws by running red lights, making illegal U-turns, double parking, and even driving the wrong way on one-way streets. The footage shows horses routinely left unattended. This is against the law and it happens every day. This is a serious public safety concern putting everyone at risk, including children. Nine hours a day, seven days a week, these horses are hauling tourists around congested, polluted streets, and many are injured or killed on the job. Patrick, an elderly horse, was discovered limping while pulling his carriage. He was made to walk back to the stables before being unhitched, even though lameness in a horse is a sure sign of pain. Patrick's body bears the deep marks of his heavy harness. Just four days later, without having been seen by a veterinarian, he was put right back to work. At the end of each hard day of labor, the horses return to cramped stalls in Hell's Kitchen. Lucky is little more than skin and bones. Regulation forbids horses to be tethered in stalls, like this. Confined to dark single stalls with no access to pasture, the horses display stereotypic signs of mental distress, like bobbing and swaying. He hated it when he came here, of course. He was like freaking out, you know, he was weaving, you know, like that. That's about time, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's a sign of unhappiness. It doesn't have to be this way. New York can join cities like Salt Lake City, Biloxi, and Key West in banning cruel and outdated horse-drawn carriages. Humane, environmentally friendly e-carriages are a better alternative, and they offer tourists the same thrill and charm. This cruelty-free future is just a vote away. If you live in New York City, please contact your council member and ask them to vote for the ban against horse-drawn carriages. No matter where you live, Please call or write New York Mayor Bill de Blasio and urge him to keep his campaign promise and continue the fight for the carriage ban.